It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is cold, rainy, dismal, cloudy outside. I've had it with this weather. So what did I decide to do? I decided to trim my hair for summer. Oh my gosh. I am feeling so much lighter. So I like it when my hair grows out. I gotta say, I like the look of my hair when it's long. However, um, in everyday life, it's very difficult to manage long, thick hair. I either have to put it in a ponytail to go out, otherwise it's just like all over the place, and it's heavy, and it's hot. So I trimmed my hair last night. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling like a thousand times lighter. So I'm super happy with my new summer haircut. Um, so that's good news. Uh, the not so good news is the Bath and Body Works candle sale today. Oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works. 10 off? That's not good. Um, Diamond of the Season, Bridgerton, this is going to run you $22.95. They just had these for $12.95. I can't imagine anyone is going to be shopping the candle sale um, right now. It just kind of feels like an odd um, lead-in to this body care event. Uh, Bridgerton Danbury Shortbread is going to run you $19.95. Great candle, smells good, but not worth it. So I don't know what they're trying to do with the candle sale. Body care today, buy three, get three. Usually not a bad deal, but we're supposed to have this all body care sale going on. So we're going to be talking more about body care today, tomorrow, and into the weekend. As soon as I have the details on the sale, I will let you know. I wouldn't buy anything until we find out about the sale. So that's kind of what we're waiting on. Also, the Mother's Day tote. Everyone's asking me about it. The only thing I know so far is what Tess has posted. So head over to Life Inside the page. You'll get to see a picture of it. I'm not going to put it up. I want you to go to her blog. So the Mother's Day Bath and Body Works Purchase with Purchase tote this year is going to be $45. The price has gone up with any $40 purchase, which means you have to spend $85. Sometimes you can use a 20% off coupon, which is a little better, but um, it's pricey this year. It's gone up. It's all about brightest bloom. It's going to be a beautiful dark pink raspberry colored tote with um, like a basket weave on it. I'm kind of digging the tote. I'm so glad they moved away from that box. I hated the box. I like the tote. I have too many totes uh, for Bath and Body Works, but I don't care. I love a good tote. I love totes. Totes are my thing. Um, all Brightest Bloom. So there is a Brightest Bloom three-wick candle. There is a Brightest Bloom tricolor three butterfly wallflower unit. You get the wallflower refill. You get the fine fragrance mist, the body wash, and the body lotion. So it's basically just a giant bag of Brightest Bloom. So if you don't like Brightest Bloom, this is going to be an automatic pass for you. I wish they'd mix it up. I wish they'd have two different bags. Maybe they could do like a bourbon and strawberry vanilla bag. And then they could do a brightest bloom bag. That would actually be interesting. Problem when they just put all one fragrance in the bag is that I feel like they end up getting um, a lot of exchanges. Although I don't even know if that's that easy anymore. Because you have to have a receipt now. Um, even exchanges have become a lot more um, challenging at Bath and Body Works. So I think if you don't like Brightest Bloom, I would just pass on the bag. It's kind of pricey this year. Um, I'm going to get the bag. I do like Brightest Bloom. Um, and we'll see if it's worth it. So as soon as I can get my hands on this thing, I will do it. Um, the app is not yet talking about the Mother's Day tote. They're talking about Bridgerton. They're talking about Dressed in White, which I think is actually a really popular collection. I think what's going to happen is for this body care sale, a lot of people are going to be um, snapping up the dressed in white. So, you know, a lot going on, but nothing super exciting until tomorrow. So I have a feeling this is going to be a wild weekend. Um, of course, we're coming up into the eclipse on Monday. Uh, my friend Lenny was trying to get here for the eclipse, but um, I feel like it's 50-50 whether or not he's going to drive here because number one, we're worried about the traffic. And number two, he's still got Bell's palsy, and I don't want him driving, you know, if the um, weather is, like, super sunny because it irritates his eyes. So, I don't know. If he doesn't come now, 
he'll be coming later in April, um, so we can review a whole bunch of the stuff and we can get his opinion and some of the uh, Bridgerton stuff. So I'm excited about that, but um, I feel like it's going to be a wild weekend on going into Monday with this whole eclipse. I don't even know what's going to happen traffic wise. Everyone's like, oh, the traffic's going to be so bad. So we shall see. So anyway, a lot of mishmash stuff going on. Let me know what you think of the candle sale and the bag. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.